Before we start this episode, we just want to say a big shout out to our sponsor. This week's episode is sponsored by Train by Tony, the new fitness app. If you get the app, you'll be able to see all the results of Tony's fantastic work. Yeah, so Tony's taken all of his online coaching that he's doing over the years and put it his brain, which is like his head massive, but like all the knowledge of that is crammed into this brand new app, Train by Tony. So if you want to get unbelievable fitness results, check out his brand new app, Train by Tony. How are you looking like Vin Diesel? Looking like me. That's it. But it'll be shredded within five weeks when we start training the app. Yeah. So <laughs> give me the cheese off my abs. I haven't downloaded the app yet, but this is the before photo. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna see me in four weeks time. <laughs> yeah. Topless on this episode. So I got the shredded Squidward fucking. Yeah, yeah, sexy. Yeah. <laughs> Just me with Clara now. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it starts with one pound a day, guys. So like all your online coaches, all your PTs you see now are offering like twenty good sessions, whatever it is. Like you're spending loads of money. This is one pound a day, so thirty quid a month. You can sign up and get the best results in the business from one of the best coaches in the business. So make sure you check out Train by Tony. I'm already a machine, but Tony's going to turn me into the machine. That's what it. more could you want? That's it. Excellent. Yes, so uh, enjoy the episode, guys. Just like my jumper. Do you like your jumper? Yeah. It's very orange. It's a jumper? Yeah, yeah. I woke up at my parents' house this morning, so uh, I had no clothes. So I went to the wee brother's room and like this clothes like. So that's why I'm wearing Is this my comments from the last episode rubbing off on you when I said he's <laughs> better than you? Yeah. Well, that does well. I was like, what, what can I take that he won't notice? But he has my DMs, he's got my dark buttons. Oh, I thought you meant like your fucking inbox on Twitter. <laughs> he, he controls who messages me. He sees who you can send news to. Yeah. <laughs> Just the limelight, uh, Snapchat up. <laughs> yeah. Your mum watching us. <laughs> Aye, the mother, the mother wasn't happy again. She, my mum like sort of goes through these periods where she cancels me and then I have to Sorry. stay away for a week. So like I wanted to tell her what she I wanted. the Daily Mail? Literally, I got, like, I got in for dinner on Monday. My mum was, was giving me like one word answers and my dad was driving me to the pub and he was all, just hit the showers, you've striked out, take a week off from me. And then he's like, <laughs> what do you do? Because I showed up to this family party last, so I was in Benedict's, <laughs> drinking strawberry daiquiris. I said Benedict's one. <laughs> flew, flew, flew on the red eye to the family party. It's in Benedict's, and uh, it was a few strawberry daiquiris deep, and then I was like, I don't like spending money here. And I went, I'm a Mazda family party, there'll be free swell and a cheese board and all. So I arrived with my two arms length. Like, don't get a cheese board in Benedict's, do you? No, like? no, no. You get fucking, the only cheese board you get in Benedict's is, <laughs> Fully not a nigga for coke, but still. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they call it in England, cheese. Cheese? Yeah, because I remember going to a house party and my mate was like, oh, there'll be a cheese board there as well. And I thought, fucking cheese, right. I thought cheese would be um, weed because <laughs> it's smelling. Like. Cheese is like, because I was like, my mate was like, oh, there'll be a cheese board here as well at the party. And I'm like, get in, bit of free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I showed up all these road members. I was like, where's the, uh, where's the cheese board? <laughs> <laughs> we're all doing like lines and they went over there, pal. Put in, put money in, that's what. And I went, no, I'm looking like the uh, you pull a knife on the road, man. But it's just like a brie knife. Yeah, yeah I was like, I'm looking at the stilt. I'm looking at the stilt, not the <laughs> fucking cheddar. You brought your own crackers and all. Fuck yeah. Sake. Oh, uh, yeah, showed up and then like, we happy days. Yeah. This is a nice change to this road man party with this DJ deck. <laughs> crackers in the shape of uh, a key. Yeah. I was walking along. Bum, 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 bum. A cracker with crackers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like where's the? I was doing a line. Where's the chutney again? <laughs> <laughs> Is there any chutney to go with? Uh, <laughs> I did, I didn't, yeah, Benedict. So, so I showed up to this, this gaff party and then because I rang my mum today to explain that I had a fight with my mate, my mum was like, yeah, will you do that? You showed up to your own that house party last week with all the family and just talked about yourself for an hour and then, just, then you passed out. So I showed up to this family party, opened my, like went into my auntie's cabinet and just started opening a bottle of fancy red wine and pouring myself it and then like ch- chatting away and then basically passed out on my auntie's sofa. My mum and dad were trying to wake me up and I was just lying there, like, there's my, all oh, my wee cousins had me on their Snapchat stories, like, passed out at 11 at night, like, covered in red wine that had spilt over myself. Red, red, red. It was brutal, like, my mum and dad were, like, trying to wake me up, so my dad was like, I found it funny, yeah. but no one else did. So she just don't speak to your mother for a week, and I'm like, but I need to tell her what I want for Christmas, because it's Black Friday next week. <laughs> so I sent her an email. You asked for a cheese board? You sent, wait, 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 you sent your mom an email? Yes, I'll show you. I sent her an email. Kids, sir. Yeah. Dear mother. <laughs> well, no, so I, took a, I went on ASOS and screenshotted all the clothes I want, and then screenshotted the camera I want, and then I sent her an email being like, Hello, uh, for Christmas shopping, here are a few ideas. She's going to buy you fucking alcoholic and honest. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I just want to say a lesson, what do you call that? <laughs> Last year you got improv Sadly. classes, next year you're going to get. <laughs> uh, uh, improv, improv was a present for finishing uni. I was in the office, and uh, we'll get to that later on, but some young fellow was talking to me and William Thompson afterwards, and he's all, buy one again in the comedy and all. He's on my Mac on my improv lessons. You did it? Cool, man, cool. Was it, was it me? <laughs> yeah, nice one. I was all, Paul, I was all, was Paul Moon running it? And he was all, nah, it's on like Bedford Street. And I was like, no, Paul Moon's a person. Yeah, and he was yeah. all, oh, I thought that was the name of the street. And I was like, yeah, mate, good luck. 
Do you, know what <laughs> you ever, did, did you ever see them like shade uni parties do with like write a sarcastic phrase about someone? Yeah. Just yeah. like a girl that's like, I love white gays, but she always gets with black gays. Basically, like yours would just be, I love improv. Yeah. <laughs> I actually love the people who do improv. I just, I would. It cruise you. I would be shite at it. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. The last time I done a show, I couldn't suspend my. I would love to see it. The last time I done an improv show was December, so before I met you, and uh, they were on stage doing sort of Christmas themes. And then I tried basically to start doing stand up in the middle of it. Get the fuck off. Yeah, yeah, they were like, boo, who the fuck's this guy think he is? I was like, what about Christmas then? And then, I, and then they were like, no, no, no. And they were back to the sketch here. So can I, uh, can I ask you, did improv, like, can you describe a sketch you had done? Can you describe your mental health at yeah. the time? Uh, so basically, I obviously really wanted to do, do stand up, but. At the time, COVID was still in the thing, so the PAV wasn't even back yet. Because mm. I remember me on the PAV's page, and they were like, just keep an eye out. So then I didn't know what to do, and it was kind of like just working dead end job in the office. So my mum was like, I know what to tell you up. Here's six big improv classes. And I went to it. That is quite nice, actually, for my mum. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. And I met Ronan Lenski there, who's like a good friend now. Mm-hmm. And Ronan gave me a couple of gigs to start with. So technically, right. it's good that way. And I met Laura and Alex. Yeah. So that they were all starting off there. So technically, we all started our comedy careers at the same time. Okay. And then uh, we done a couple of shows, but then it was just sort of I shows maybe, with audience members. Yeah. Yeah. So describe. I didn't know that. Describe. Yeah. Describe what that looked like. Like you get on stage and what was like the thing said there. I did not know yeah. you done improv on audience there. Yeah, yeah. I done. I done free shows. So sort of. I thought you only like went to like lessons and learned. I didn't think you actually done a show. Yeah. During last Christmas, I done like free shows. Yeah. Two in the Sunflower and one in Accidental Theatre. Right. And then uh, like she, we got up and they gave us like. Uh, you say a suggestion to the audience and stuff, uh-huh. and then like you so see, you'd be like, "Was it like the like the Ted was like nine eleven? Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, we wait on that. And you got give us a place, give us a suggestion, and obviously it was during Christmas, so people said Santa's workshop, and then you had to do stuff we got there. But it was good to sort of learn to slow down, Fuck. and come up with things on the My spot. Yeah, thinking no. about it. Yeah, but then I remember the person I was sort of texting at the time. I she was like, "What are we at tonight? Stand up?" And I, no, it's doing a wee improv show. And then uh, she popped up and went, yeah, I can't go on that date on Wednesday anymore. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus nothing, like, uh, it's, There's nothing sexy about an improv, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> I just, I couldn't... Bleh. Yeah. Mm. You were like, let me, I couldn't let loose. Yeah, no. And I think all like, about improv is like stripping yourself down and being able to like be like... Be vulnerable. I'll be so, like a child. I know, someone we know and was a guest on the podcast very recently talked about today went and did improv lessons, like over in America. <laughs> and one of the classes was performing improv. Naked Jordan in the nude. <laughs> 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 the point we're trying to be subtle about that. But Jordan, like, Jordan's apparently like really a panic. Jordan is really, really good at improv, and I'd love to see Jordan do that it. Wouldn't surprise me. I would imagine yeah. him being good at it. Like. But uh, I've seen, I've never seen him. But uh, I know, like, there are a lot of stand-ups who do it. Fraser Rob, Ronan Linsky, Paul Moon, Laura right. Coleman, Alex. What is what is the difference between improv? Johnny Bo? What is the improv? What is the difference between? This sounds like a start of a. You said Johnny Bo. Johnny Bo does improv as well. What? If it's you go on accidental theaters posters, Johnny Bo's on one. Right. Sure My question is, what's the difference between improv and like crowd work? Crowd work's better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's completely different. Yeah, uh, is it? It is. But you're kind of informally being like, give me a topic, give me something, mm. or is like as. Uh, but the crowd work, you're going, what do you do for a living? Oh, you're not, really, but yeah. you're not acting really as well, are you? Yeah, yeah, and you're just okay. sort of having a bit of back and forth for the crowd. It, crowd it is. It's the same skill of thinking on your feet. But yeah, it's not the same but it's not. You're more acting. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like. Did you ever see that show on? Um, it's always something like that. Is it anyway? Is that the American one? Yeah. yeah. No, there's a British one as well. Oh, is there? Yeah, oh, I don't know. Do you remember yeah. when British ones first? Shite. The night I first met you. I didn't really like the guys in the American one either, but I don't mind I it. it better. I, I asked my mum and dad for Who's Nine Is There Anyway for Christmas, like when I was like... A DVD? Yeah, when I was like 12, so I really liked it, like, and then my auntie and uncle bought me, but they got me the British version. And it's a crap. And I was like too afraid, they'd be like, that's the wrong one. It's like from like the early 80s, so they're all like, oh... You're such and such actor just walks into that bar and you're going, I don't know who that actor is. It was all fun. It was yeah, references, yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, big at the time, time but yeah. didn't get it, like. <laughs> the, uh, what was to say about improv uh, as well? That's something to say about improv, and now it's completely blank my mind. Just I'm not, I'm not just a just 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 <laughs> <laughs> Jordan? No, I was in my, we were driving, the night I first met you, we were driving back. I was driving back from a, the gig in Chicken Box, being our comedian, and I didn't do that well, I was melted, I just wanted to go home, and I was like, <laughs> right. Let's improvise in the car on the way home, and I was like, "No, not really." And he went, yes, somehow. He was give me a topic, and we'll do it. And I went, uh, "No, and it right." We're two pilots who've been stranded in a jungle. Let's do it. And I was, "Oh, man, fuck off!" And then when that didn't, when I wasn't You're giving like, him, I have lost." Yeah, <laughs> when I wasn't giving him any for the improv, he went, right? <laughs> let's rap instead. And he just put on a beat. And goes, poosh, 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 poosh. Sitting here with Kieran Franco in the car on the way back from Derry. And I was sitting there going, mate, genuinely I might get off and throw myself in front of the Glenshaw Pass here. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
it Fuck, was uh, I'm making it on the stage I'd done five maybe and I was like <laughs> so melted like on the drive because my gig before that was you know the last drop the first one you done mm-hmm. and like we, I'd done very well at that so I was like this 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 stand up game's easy yeah. and then I got there and died and then I was like in the drive home being like I just want to fucking throw myself out of a lorry here Fuck that well have a good weekend yeah, yeah that sounds <laughs> Oh, Can we give a shout out to the green room, by the way? Fucking oh, the green room, lovely gig. Yeah, yeah, absolutely lovely. Yeah. Yeah. So, about it the way up. so yeah. there, is, there is, for anyone that doesn't know, like there's like a real lack of open mics in Northern Ireland. Look for us, yeah, like, yeah. Very there, open mics. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's, the demand of people wanting to do comedy and they can get on is very, very difficult. But there's one in Oma, which is good to see somewhere inside Belfast. And we got a last minute call to be like, well, here's how the call went: goes with no one, with a couple of dropouts, we need to get someone good in. So the phone here. <laughs> and uh, then it goes, uh, Kieran, uh, can you come down? And Kieran goes, well, I can't drive. So it goes, Asher, take Sean. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's it. I got on the line now. What do you mean? I said, it's like a rebro. Yeah, yeah. But I've got X Factor too, which was the two boys. It's like, nobody by my side. Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> I think that was the most. Like, come on, baby girl. Come on, move your body. <laughs> that was me. Kieran. How long do we do? Like 20 minutes each as well? That's flu. Well, <laughs> I fucking. I did. I was about to do 10 or 12 minutes of material, and I think it had about 20 minutes. It was just class. The, the audience were just giving us so much back, like. Yeah. And then uh, the, one of the audience members who was doing a bit of it, looking like that, was sort of with a mustache. And one of the audience members goes, "Fuck, he doesn't all high." <laughs> and then you turn around and said, "What? Do you want to come back to man and watch a film?" <laughs> That's good. That's it was good. Up. But it was like, like um, there's something to be said about uh, underage drinking at a bar. Get them crowd up the. Oh, they, they were up, definitely like, not eighteen. They're right? fucking. They're class crack. Like, yeah. Great to see. Yeah. And uh, well, I think it was like. I was doing my joke about having an OCD and one of them had his head in his hands and I was like, what do you have it as well? And he went, I badly like, I was like, where are we got from? Yeah. <laughs> game respects game. Do you know, like but do you know when like a certain group of people walk into a room and you're like, oh Jesus, no, he's going to be a nightmare. Yeah, that's, like, yeah. They're actually dead on, sound as, sound as There you go, like, just goes to show you guys. Can't yeah. judge a book by its colour, although you should always judge a book by its colour. So. Yeah, all the time. Uh, speaking of, you done Lavery's LTV, you said you had something mad to tell us. I'm not really doing average. I had a fucking mental. Like, yeah, yeah, so you yeah. don't need to do average. Tell us about your week. The next 40 minutes of this podcast is going to be Pete's summary. Yeah. It's Wednesday night. Yeah. <laughs> get me, get me so we start, we start on Monday. Yeah, Monday I did um, the PAV, done the pavilion, um, done some new material. <laughs> Have you got your calendar out there to recap this? Yeah. Oh, I do that every week, yeah. Just recap it. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. Fuck you. The perks of me I recording did. on my phone over there. I don't know where the fuck I've been this week. Anyway, um, continue, sorry. I Monday had the pavilion done new material. I thought it went pretty well. Like, yeah. It did go well, yeah. Um, Tuesday, I done Andrew Rand's um, podcast, Cork in the North. Nice. It went really well. He's having me back in two weeks. Then we're going to do another one. Lovely. And then we might be doing some filming for something in January, but I can't really say too much about that just yet because I haven't really ran it past him. And then on Wednesday, the Lavery's. Yeah. Um, it was good. It was good crack. Um, and then on Thursday... I got a call from Shane Todd, not call, message, asking what I do support from. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for three of his shows in Bangor. Because there's a thing called Open Festival in Bangor. So, like two weeks ago, I think Dave Elliott did a show. Yeah, in the courthouse. In the Found courthouse. It, yeah. And then last week, I done support for Mickey Bartlett. He'd done a couple of shows in it. And then they offered it for Shane as well. But Shane asked, What venues have you got? And they gave him like a list of four. So then Shane came up with the idea, Fuck it, let's just do all four. That's class. Such a flex. Yeah, yeah. Such a yeah. flex. Why don't we just sell it all four quickly? Yeah. Yeah. So it was, um, he, he, I think he's branded like Shane Todd's World Tour of Banger. Nice. So um, he needed some support acts for it. Um, so I got to do three of them. And we went up to Banger. I went up to not really knowing what the crack was. What the crack was like. And it was just like, it was all different like sized venues. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, like the first one held about 30 people. Second one held maybe about, I don't know, about 90 or 100. Fuck. That's mad. Everyone, every man and dog and beggar must have been out yeah. there. And, the and then the third one I did was maybe, I don't know, but 60 like. Seven, That's class. 60 yeah. like. So probably in around just under 300 people for your night like. And then the courthouse. Fuck, right. Which yeah. is another 100 like. That's mad. Which I didn't get to do because I had to shoot on the end of the new laveries. Oh, you didn't get to do it in the end? I didn't, I didn't, do, the, I didn't do the fourth gig. Oh. Were you offered the fourth one as well in the courthouse? No. Oh, he, yeah. um, William Thompson was doing laveries as well, but he only did the first two because then he had to get the laveries. You know what I mean? So it was. Ah, oh, so you sort of staggered your like leaving. Ah, uh, right, okay. It was fucking nuts, base. Like, see, yeah. like the what would you call it? Like the admin offer, like the time. Yeah, the yeah. schedule, like yeah. So like, I got to the first venue, and for for toxic, the majority of it was me, William Thompson, and Jordan Robinson mm-hmm. being the support acts. The third one changed, but. For talk sake, I guess I'll just keep it as the same people so you understand. So William Thompson and Jordan opened, and then they call a break, and then it's me, then I bring Shane on stage. Fuck, that's okay. class. So but did William go on cold, basically? William goes on cold. Yeah, yeah. 
Solium was essentially takes a bullet for the team, like. Right, okay. Um, and then because the next gig starts so soon after, as soon as William and Jordan get off stage, they go to the next gig. I started. And started, and then I'm left there. And you go. And then you follow. And Shane's not even in the room yet. Because Shane does. Is he still finishing? She, no, because this is the first one. Oh. Shane doesn't turn up. It doesn't walk into the venue until like five minutes before he goes on stage. Yeah. So I go on stage before, and I'm only doing 10, 15 minutes. So I go on stage, and Shane's not even in the building. Holy shit. And I have to bring Shane on stage and go, please, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your headline act, Shane Tall. And I just have to hope he opens that door. So you're, yeah, yeah, you're waiting for an all to be like, get him on. I'm shitting myself, but it's like, do you know Shane? He just likes turning up yeah, yeah, before I'm yeah. here. Uh, yeah. I don't know if he's here or not. Um, Fuck so me. you just have to go like I hope he fucking walks through that door because yeah. he's not. But, I'm gonna have but to at, the same, at, at the same time, you don't want to like go on too long where he's like, I had to fucking wait ten yeah. minutes, sir. That's mad. The only clue is it was all being filmed. So, it was so really you would miss it like by his videographer. <clears throat> so when you see the, his, I don't know, staff or team, what do yeah. you call the videographers coming from? You're like, right, well he must be here. But he still, he still doesn't see his yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always so scary. Scary. Yeah. Might not it's be like there. Santa coming on to turn on the Christmas lights. Yeah, like, is he yeah. here? It's fucking, it's mad. <laughs> so then, when I go off, he goes on. So then I get in the car, That's jump wild. over to the next venue. And by the time I get there, William and Jordan are coming off. So what, are you straight on? No, it's the break. Oh, is that right? The That's break, yeah. So they give me a rough idea. Well, what's this one like? Oh, it's bad in the last one. Oh, it's not as good. You know, it's good. Yeah, yeah. And then Jesus. they go on. And then like, Jordan's about to leave. Well, Jordan, I need you to stay here to bring me on. You know, yeah, yeah. introduce yeah. me. Bye. So that just keeps happening and happening. Fuck. It's must fucking have been a like, by the end of it. And then he went to the lavries. And then I had to go and do lavries and then I had to message with Lemon on and be like, yo, can you put me on the second half here? Cause yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm still doing it. Fuck I'm still doing this. Like. I was laughing because you like posted photos of each of the gig and like, like you normally when you're on stage look quite grumpy anyway. Like, yeah. In the photos, yeah. the stills, like when you're on normally much, you don't look grumpy, but for whatever reason, every photo you seem to be like you're buzzing. raging. <laughs> Oh fuck! But the other, yeah. No, no, but and then and Larry's at the very end. The last one, the last gig, you look just doubly human. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It really, really was. Like, it tell was, you what, you earned your stout that night. I fucking did, man. <laughs> yeah, I did. That's class. Well, that give you a laugh, right? There was just because I some of the women that were organising it, they were part of the open festival. They were obviously the women that were there when I did yeah. the shows with Mickey Barton. Yeah. So it's like, oh well, what's the crack on? And there's one woman we spent the whole day with Mickey <laughs> Barton, like showing us in the green room and getting mm-hmm. us stuff. But the other woman I'd only briefly met, and I was sitting at the first gig, and you know what I'm like before yeah. a gig, like, and especially a gig like that, nervous. Yeah, nervous wreck, like. And like, she was all, well, are you okay? Are you okay? you nervous? <laughs> yeah. you nervous? And I was like, oh, I am a wee bitch. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Don't be worried about What's it. What's the worst thing I can And I was all, I know, just waiting on so like, honestly. Like, don't be worrying. <laughs> fuck <laughs> oh. And it just started like chatting about well like and do you do this full time and like making small talk but yeah. like at that stage you just want them to go away like exactly she's yeah. being lovely but I could tell in her head she was like I'll distract this young fella yeah, and, yeah, and that'll make him better yeah, yeah. and then when I get off well how'd you get on see I told you yeah right. fuck and then I get to the next gig and she go well how'd that one go so you're doing brilliant I was like I'm a comedian I don't want to do it yeah, 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 yeah. Like, fuck me it's like driving a car she which was like, I can't do she was like baby baby <laughs> It's like your first day of school, like you're your mom leaving your house in the tree. She went into full mum mode, she was like, you're fine, see, I told you. I told you, wee man. Can we get on the podcast some week? To give her anxiety on a home yeah, or something like This week, by the way, is the week for most people asking to come on the pod. Yeah. So like, which is lovely, like, nice to see we're, we're doing something right. Now we've got a wee sponsorship on board, they're all like, fuck, get us on, please. Get, get us mood. on. See, uh, but you said you texted us on Thursday night when something mental happened. I'll get to that. I'll get oh, to that. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Oh, I yeah. was on the mental thing. Yeah. Uh, the woman, the woman. <laughs> I'm going, you'll be fine. It was the mental thing. <laughs> she was lovely. Shout out that woman. Completely forget her name. Uh, um, but I, one of the gigs with it was in the Civil Defence Club in Bangor. Seen that logo on the back of it? It was like. It was basically like a working man's club for axe police officers and stuff. Oh, right. you, like the badge, look like you ever seen the UDR badge? Yeah. With yeah. like the harp and like the red handle. Yeah. It was like that, and like see from the outside, it was a house, and you ring a like you know a ring doorbell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then buzz you through, and you walk through like a carpeted like hallway. So we're like that. Yeah. And then you're just in like a social bar. Right? Mm-hmm. But it was fucking, it was just weird, like, you know what I mean? Like, proper cars and loyalists. <laughs> um, so you, you, like, you look right in. You look right in. in. Yeah. Yeah. You fit right in. But it was lovely, like yeah. really, really nice. And I do I do that. There's that line where I go like, um, "It's pretty much the DUP's worst nightmare." Yeah, I was like, "I can't believe I said that." Here. And then <laughs> I went into the bit about Ian Paisley and they loved it. Like, yeah. it was sort of like, yeah, they were up for it. Like, you're taking the piss out of what we are. Yeah, that's good. Do you get like either side of that though? Sometimes you get that, and they're like, you know, 
dead on about it or yeah. there's the times where like I flipped on the little moral gig and I was like talk- I literally said the word Rangers and the next thing the whole room just goes yeah and just couldn't uh, get anything out like couldn't get the bit out you done that bit uh, on Tuesday and there was just this one old boy at the back on the hoops yeah, <laughs> <I'm> on the <laughs> hoops <laughs> he was on stage yeah, yeah. but um, one thing I have to say like I was really happy about and surprised but see like doing four gigs in one night yeah like you stop caring after like the first or second. Like I was oh, ad libbing and having fun, and it was yeah. less pressure. And I had to change. I was proud of myself because I had to change my set. You were just every one. Because Mickey, do you know Mickey? I'll not say what it is. Mickey has a routine that's quite similar yeah. to mine. Yeah, he done one of the support slots. And he went, mate, I did that routine. And I was like, oh fuck, it might be too similar to mine. So I had to like change my set. Oh, that's nice. Five yeah. minutes before going on. That's good. Fucking the right. proper, proper sounds like the you know that New York comedy thing. Like you get yeah, the workout the material, game. take yeah. things, take that side. Yeah. Four nights a week, just take three three stage for an hour. Yeah, and bangers are fucking one way system as well. I was doing my tits in. What like this? Uh, the town oh, is one way. These are proper like recombo. You going around the town following each other? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's, that's hilarious. Like, tell you so, what, you're sporting banger and fucking Thursday night if you want to see comedy. Can I just say? From doing the shows with, uh, with Mickey in the courthouse to all the M ones, all great. Yeah. Honestly, try. I didn't it. realize Banger was Hats such a good centre for. And I've, I've seen Kian Bartler and all showing up, but he sent brilliant class. Yeah. Plays the gig really, really yeah. nice. Like it's because of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they're all rich. But um, and then went on to do the lottery shirt. I don't think he might be talking about this. Like I'm sure yeah. he won't. Like it was Sean Haggerty was on stage, right? Everyone was doing really, really well. So this was the mad there. <laughs> Everyone was doing really well. Like it was, a, it was a pretty decent lavries. Sean was just doing his thing, and he has some lines, something like, "Oh, I've been a stand up for fifteen years," or "I'm only new to stand up," or something. Yeah. He referenced how long he'd been doing stand up, and I mean, out of nowhere, at the back of the room, some woman goes, "No, you haven't, Sean." What, what? the fuck? Like out of like, like screaming it, like screamed it. <laughs> Like, oh, I mean, it was quiet, lull, and all the air was, No, you haven't, Sean! Well, it's like slapping her. And, like, but, like, laughing, like, funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And everyone went, What the fuck happened there? <laughs> yeah. And I was standing at the bar by the back of the stage, and I'd been on stage. Yeah. yeah. And I was drinking a pint, and the fella beside me was all, oh, My fucking look at this. Yeah. And she was this girl, right? And she was, like, dolled up with the nines. Like, I'd say maybe, I don't know, early 30s or something. Yeah. yeah. And it was that loud, and, like, out of nowhere, Sean was like, Who said that, no? And she was like, It's Tommy! Fuck's and sake. he was all, ah, right, okay. And like, he went done a bit of back and forth for her. And he like, had the address and all. Yeah. yeah. And like, she was all, I'm on a date. And he's all, what date is it? She was all, second date. And he was all, <laughs> Sean the fucking lead in there. Yeah. All, Does he know you're riding all them off fells and all? Fuck. <laughs> and he was all, ah, fuck. And then he was talking to the fella. He was all, well, how's she doing? Um, and he's all, ah, no, no, no. And he's all, have you rated her out of 10 yet? And he's all, oh, no, no, I wouldn't go into that there. And the bay wouldn't, like, oh, wouldn't, wouldn't, say, wouldn't say if it was going well or not. Shit. Yeah. Which clearly shows. It wasn't. But, yeah. like, he was in bars as fuck. Yeah. yeah, in bars as fuck. And then he was all, you seen your daddies? That's <laughs> <laughs> me. I thought it would have been, because I seen Sean post, I'm going to get a dig to the head one of these days on his Instagrams. Right. Still. That's not even the mad bit. Oh, my God. God. So he shouted out, and then they were going back and forth, and all, I'll carry on. And then out of nowhere, I mean, out of nowhere, some old fella in the middle of the audience, yeah. nowhere near them, mm-hmm. stood up and went, Excuse me, can I say something? No. What the fuck? Excuse me, can I say something really, really important? Is it Brad Forbes? And it, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. He was, he was about 65, wearing a raincoat on his own. Oh. It's, I, like, I mean, this is Sean's last 10 minutes, yeah. oh like it's God. near done. Excuse me, can I say something? Can I say something? Going, What's he going to say? What's he going to say? We <laughs> thought he was going to say. <laughs> The way you're treating that young girl is yeah, well. that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. bad. But he was just, you know, yeah, yeah. crack. I thought it was going to be an old fella who took it wrong. Can I say something? How many mother-in-laws does it take to change a light bulb? One. And then the whole world revolves around them. And then he just sits back down. And everyone's what going... The fuck? What the fuck? Everyone's sitting there going, What <laughs> the fuck has just happened? Like... <laughs> completely normal set nobody hackling yeah, yeah. he's doing really well she screams that out weird enough but back, and then this guy sits up and Sean was there just going I don't know what to do with this I don't know what to do with this Jesus Sean gets some shit like I don't know I'd say if he's asked him 15 years of stand up comedy he's never had that in his life yeah, that's the most unique thing ever he was all <laughs> to be fair he was all we had father Ted <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought that was a pretty funny but I to him. he just had to go William you ready to come on? Like, what about me? Like, that is that's mad. Sleep. We were all just, everyone was like, what the fuck's going on? You literally just sleep for a week after that. That is fucking nuts. 
I, I could have swore he was going to... Like, tell him stop sliding yeah, them yeah. off. Yeah. I was like, he had a point to make. Not yeah. like, I want to tell a joke. He was all, can I say something really serious or not? <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking bizarre. See, like, but, but that's like that, uh, remember I was talking about like, the late room thing, where boys like, come, let my son get up and make a joke. You're like, no, no. It's not, yeah, like, yeah. If someone ever stands up in the game now, I know in my head, he'd be like, no, I don't care what it is you have to say. Someone could be dying beside you having a stroke. I'm like, no. Do you know what about me? The joke didn't make sense. Oh yeah, yeah I just made sense. I, it's like a yogi with that guy came up to me and was like, hey man, I do stand up in New York all the time for Dana Carvery and all, from fucking Wayne's World. He was like, can I can I get on to do five minutes? And I was like, no. There's yeah. like all loads of other comedians here who aren't getting on. They've done a second one. Yeah. Imagine me coming being like, right, none of you's got a gig with this fellas. Oh, no, fucking like, hell, I'm trying to see if I missed anything. Jesus. Do you have to like, note that down? I, I, not, I, I made bullet points because I was, I was drunk. Or not drunk, but I had a few uh, points. Yeah. I was like, I need to remember what happened here. Like. That is mad. Fuck me. Fucking hell. You know, uh, I got the MC, by the way, for the second time this week and enjoyed it a fuckload more Same than I did before. Same venue, Chipbox, was it? Same venue, yeah. So there were loads of, lo- not loads, but a lot more people there. You could have a bit of crack on and all. And then suddenly MC, and when you're having a bit of flow with them, and maybe you're not saying the funniest thing in the world, but it's landing better because the kind of the audience are on your side. We were saying this. We were chatting about this. Cause yeah. we we're saying about how I've been booked to do my first MC spot. Yeah. MC spot. The one and only. MC. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what it says in the yeah. poster. The, 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 the one and only. The one and only pick. Yeah, the one and only pick. Getting headline back here in Franco. Yeah. The one and only. Just, I am yeah. the one and only. only. We actually said we give it a shout out. Just happy's pizza area in Newton Arts. So I'm headlining, being brought on by the wonderful Pete Giffen doing his first MC thing. The, the master ceremony? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so. so. The, the, the comp her. The comp her. <laughs> uh, so it should be a good night. It's also bring your own, which is just hard to beat. Like, so if you're about... I will be bringing my own. Yeah, <laughs> buck fast. Yeah. If you're about Newton Ards, I'll be on stage, you have four local headlining. So uh, get down for that. Can uh, I say something? See, if you're over the age of 65 and you're wearing an anorak, don't stand up in the middle of my set. <laughs> go back. Can, can I, I say, say something? something? And if you're called Tommy, you're not allowed in. Fucking hell. She's from as well, that girl, Tommy. I, I didn't recognise her, but she listens to this. Shout out. I got this. Yeah. Her boyfriend, literally, no joke, just looked like a jack version of me. No, yeah. He, 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 like he, has, he has completed the Tony training programme. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, honestly, and that was the <laughs> thing as well. So Sean was putting it on. He was like, Sean, I don't know if you can see this guy. Yeah, <laughs> he's massive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's fucking yoked. Sean, yeah. Sean's jacked as well. Like. Yeah, this guy would have killed him. Like. Fuck. <laughs> That's fucking chaotic. No, uh, uh, what did I get up to? Uh, fuck, how long have we been? 25 minutes in, I'm like, hello, I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, what sure. about We're about 30 minutes yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, it's like, hello, boys. Uh, what did I do? I was like, open the path for the first time, that was nice. Yeah, you don't love it. It was nice. Love it. Right, here it was. Uh, there were a few times I'd gone to the path of them, like, that's ah, a good night, it's going well. But see, when you open it and you're coming on a bit of a cold room, yeah. I was, oh, my bangs were gone, like. Yeah. I was so stressed out by it all, like. I, was, I went on after you and you fucking. Untightened the, the jar yeah. for me, but I needed you there. Like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Like, but that's what, that's what I found out. Because remember, the Talal asked that question what's something you've learned in the first year? It's like yeah. your spot really dictates how well you can do at times. Yeah. As well. Like, I love going on the middle. Like, nice well, one wee you, spot. Do, what do you love? What? You love the fucking. If there's three in the second half, the wee middle spot before the head. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Can I say something? We may as well just address this now because we got a question. Okay. Mm-hmm. We got a question from Mike Carlisle saying, All right, Mike. What's your preferred spot to perform in a typical in a typical seven to eight person comedy lineup? Don't know what comedy lineup says he's at, there's yeah, seven yeah. or eight people. That's quite a lot. Like Karen Frankel organized one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No women. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, that yo not yo, uh, by the way, yo will be getting rearranged. So uh, I was speaking to Saul last night, both absolutely Blocked in also sports right. We'll get a rear range, we'll get an RDN. <laughs> nice one. Uh, but um, uh, what's your favourite uh, just the headliner? Normally, I do like that sort of warm spot. It's I like a nice like sweet on the air. Yeah, you'd be found out. That's it. Like that's it. Find yeah, yeah, that's it. Only chance for so long. He hasn't got that balls to open a gig. You're like, he hasn't hi. got the you don't I, have the balls. I I'll, I'll open no Ian Thomas opening tonight. Uh, he hasn't got the balls to <laughs> open the gig. I I'll open the gig on <laughs> when, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, what, what are we? What are we doing again? You're in the real fair, let's run. I like caution. I like to be comfortable. Do you like to be comfortable? Do you like to be comfortable? You're like so. Whenever I spend free spell fast this year, like by your pen reserves, you're too good. You need to go to first. Like nah. I like yeah, it here. Yeah, like it's yeah. nice. It's going three three every Hi, week. And I emceed on Thursday. I opened that, didn't I? Mm. I got up and see. Oh, I've done this real shit Ronaldo joke. I was like, just see Ronaldo. And what the fuck's he playing at? And then I went. And you see, he's got food. He was slagging the chefs. Now he's got food poisoning. I went. Hi. Revenge is a dish best served cold. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> no? Sure. You've lost the room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Fit and Harvey appreciated it. Big football fan. I get the rest yeah. of the chicken box crowd. Like, ooh, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've done, done that kneecap story as a bit. 
and then it was like saying like oh I was speaking to the kneecap and they were like telling me they're playing this festival and this festival and they're like where are you playing I went the old 400 seater Benigans yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real underground venue they would have liked that um, yeah no I think I think the easiest spot is definitely the middle yeah yeah. That's I like what you put a new act on I like going second no but like following the opener is normally good because you always sort of pick some rival for opening that's yeah. what I'm doing the night so yeah that, that's a good spot to go on I also like opening sometimes because yeah. it's just like Get you're really under the pressure like honestly going second is my favourite because then the, the night's over. Yeah. No, my favorite is the same. Myself. Headlining. That's where I see myself. <laughs> you, ever, you ever done it? <laughs> Quite a few times. <laughs> uh, oh, we go again on Thursday. We, yeah, and we've sold quattro tickets. Quattro tickets. <laughs> That's 40, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> is it 40? Oh, fuck no. yeah. If we, if we sold 40 tickets, I'd be bouncing. Sorry, sure, I'll go back to your, your, your week. I just that, 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 that question came up. So what else did I do that week? I went to Oma on the Wednesday night, I've covered that already, and then... What did you do this weekend? Take me through it. What did I do this weekend? Fuck, it's not a whole pile, sir. No? Not a whole pile. Joel actually went to, went to the new Speakeasy Student Union there on Thursday night, right? No, no comedy, just was like, I'll go out for a wee walk here. Man. Just went out for a wee walk, me and, me and the woman went What's out for a walk. Speakeasy Student Union? The new one. Like not Mandela Hall, no? No, Joe Joe had that new yes, the new Mandela Hall, basically. Yeah, okay. Do you know they knocked that down and rebuilt it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so the new issue. The new yeah. one's open and there's like there a bar? Yeah, the top floor, yeah. yeah. It's on rail. Yeah. It's class. Paint some Audrey and all in it. Like for I think it's three, stout, man, three uh, yeah. Yeah. Change, man. Maybe. The Guinness said it wasn't bad either, in fairness. The G and Giffen's done for Guinness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it 100% does not like yeah, but no, it does now. But uh, I went, went in there and I was like, oh, I'll have one tip along about seven eight pints later, blocked on a Thursday night. Ah, your messages were very emotional. Oh, was, oh, was, oh getting, is, that, is that what yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I don't actually like yeah. it. I just want to get a few drinks and I get a yeah, bit yeah. gay, like, you know. That was the best was. But yeah. uh, went in there and I'm sure the was gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so ashamed. And then, what else happened? I can't remember now. Friday night I actually went out in Kremlin as well. Was Kremlin? Like, like no, fu- no hit to any, no hit to anything, like, but you know me. It's not that it was fucking a bit of gay bar, it's just fucking mental. Pumping. It's, it's fucking hate my tums, like, I'm so dumb. It's like, as well, it's just fucking corridors and corridors. Yeah. And what is what was the routine? Did he like, accidentally like go into that cubicle and all that? Do you know what I mean? Like it happens all the time. Right, but yeah, <laughs> this is the thing as well, there's a fucking, so it's generally neutral toilets, and there's yeah. like a piss wall, right? And I swore to fuck, I am not a par- I'm not a paranoid person, but like the girls were like coming round to like look at the fucking Look at your dick. I can't piss beside people. No, it's not. No, I'm a cubicle man all day, like yeah. piss beside yeah. people. I did first day right? I used to in school, like I went to an all boys school and you'd be taking a piss at the urinal and like someone would come and like push your school bag, just you'd fucking Oh your dick would hit the yeah. and yeah. you'd like yeah, fall into it and all so you know, I have trust issues when it comes to the public toilets. Yeah, I remember my mum getting called into primary school because someone was taking a piss and I ran over and just debagged them. I'm <laughs> taking a piss at the urinal. Hey, what, what some wild pissing. So yeah, you just take your dick out and uh, you took your dick out uh, when you're at the urinal. Oh, like, right, yeah, 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 yeah. So you just you just thought as we man out. And do you put your dick through the the fly or do you unbutton your, your unbutton her? Unbutton, yeah. Do you ever see people yeah. who just put it for the fly? fly now that's the, risky, like that's weird. But I actually, and someone I used to work with, we used to wear shorts because we were lifeguarding. He would come out the side of the shorts. That's good. He went no, yeah. he'd come out. He would go down the side of the shorts. That's like, a flex. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a flex. Like, Fuck. Like, there's no need for that. Like, take it out of a sock. Just this fucking leg off here. <laughs> <laughs> do, you ever sit, do you ever sit down and pee for like a treat? Oh, I yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If I'm really hungry, yeah. It's fucking... Um, you've got a flatmate now. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, but when he didn't, did he go to the toilet with the door open? If I was really hungover, yeah, but no, if I'm not hungover... Why if you're hungover? Did you get trapped? Because you just, you're just fucking... Ugh, blah, blah, blah. And then you just want to... I don't know what the noise was. And you just want to get in. <laughs> you just want to get on the on the throne and take a, bit, a shit like, you know what I mean? You know what's a great dump? No. Whenever you're hungover and you just go fully naked. And yeah, yeah. Dump. That's yeah, like class, that. like, poor shower. Yes. yes. Post, I, I, will, I will die in the cell. Post poo euphoria is better than any drug I've ever taken. You didn't mind me here? Post poo. Yeah. Post poo, Clary. <laughs> Post poo. Oh, it's great. Like, oh, yeah. by the way, I fucking, this is another thing. Well, you're stealing my material. Well, you are. Oh, well, I don't know if I'm going to. Well, the, the material that I do, that I've always done, that yeah. sort of synonymous bit. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. I've been doing that for 11 months, shut up. <laughs> yeah. And nobody has ever said anything about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, that Bob Morrow gig we did, someone shouted, Oh, what about this? Yeah. And I was like, Oh, okay. The next gig I did in Bangor, I was doing it. Some guy goes, Oh, what about this? And same like, thing? Not the same thing, but about. about the exact it was a solution to the problem. Yeah. There we yeah, go. Fuck. A different solution to the problem because I said, Oh, blah, 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 this problem. Yeah. The best and Nobody's ever, like, everyone's always on it. Twice. One after each other. So I went a lamb on four hours. Did you early. have you like devised? I'm going to have to retire. Well, I was going to say, have you not devised a, a put down for that sort of hackle? No. 
more just a funny agreement. It's probably but, it's quite a friendly heckle each time. But the fact that they have a solution for it makes the fact that I haven't solved it the next bit funnier. Yes, right, okay. you know what I mean. I will shut it up. That's what yes. it is. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, you tonight will just get someone standing up and can I tell, can I say something serious <laughs> about your nutty cross bit? I'm going to say it just to test you. I'm going to be like, oh, what, can I just do this? Fucking say that. Huh? <laughs> um, Hi, this is one gig that I just can't wait to get over with, like, tonight, like. It's like that feeling the pressure. Thanks, then. It's like, like in a brand new room and I, the boy went, can you rent speakers? And then I went, no. And then the guy who runs the bar, I went, don't worry, my DJ sorting the sound system. So I hope I'm not going to get up here and like we walk into the room and so it's jumping and pumping the battery of music. He's uh, not DJ, he's having the battery, he's magic, like I love him. Yeah, he's, he's fucking cool. Oh, yeah, 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 the wee rough cool looking boy. Yeah. He fucking looks like a trap ass. He literally yeah. plays the shittiest tunes ever. Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that should like that was the last the last battle. Johnny Moe finished and was like, "All right, he's like, I am giant. Let's <laughs> stand up on my shoulders." <laughs> on the Johnny Moe as well. He's a fucking but, giant. Uh, Sean, haven't fucking come on yet. <laughs> Sean, haven't come on. <laughs> Hey, yeah, by the way, congratulations, Johnny Bow, getting engaged. Yes, yes sure Johnny Bow. And Johnny. his fiance, whose name I completely forget, Victoria. Congratulations, Victoria, as well. Love I'm saying, like, the first ever people to get up and engage <laughs> Yeah. Edinburgh, as well, classy place to do it. You know? Oh, is that where he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah. Fair play, him. Fair play. So, him. yeah. Um, do you want to go into a few questions? Yeah. Uh, yes. I got a good one uh, that we got asked, which was. Uh, oh, not off by heart. Jay Red asks. Uh, Who? Jay Red. He's always at gigs. He's a good guy. Jay Red. Yeah. He's always at your gigs. He's, always, he's a fan. He's a fan with Textimo. He's a good guy. Jay he, Red. He asks, "You're getting a punishment, beating Red." Yeah. Again. Yeah. And you're getting from the missus. You you get the offer of your hands being done, or your kneecaps being done, and you're going to be out for eight weeks. The injury's going to last eight weeks. This is the easiest guys never. What are you getting done? Hands. What? Yeah, knees. I'm getting knees kneecapped? all day. Why like? would you get kneecapped? Dexterity is like what nev- sets you apart. The whole point yeah. of kneecap is you don't recover from a kneecap. You don't get you don't get recovered from a hand cabin. Yeah, yeah. yes you can. A hundred percent. You'd be like Doctor Strange. A hand is easier to fix than a knee. You never seen someone that like does. If like you get shot in the wrist, <laughs> yeah, no. they're not coming back. Like I'd be kneecapped and I would just I would take my time. I would recover. I'd have a couple weeks off work. Hands are what set us apart from you animals. Can't, you can't hold pants when you're... You need your dexterity. Hands you can, you base cut about what prosthetic limbs right. now that are going Are we getting for. both kneecaps? Are we getting both knees? Either both. Yeah. both yeah. Either's both. Mate, I, yeah. like, those metal legs people cut about on there. I also, like... You, you also, I'm not one for a walk. People, <laughs> people, people, people you, you, you'd be asked to go into work. If you got your hands done, they'd be like, hey, you still going to work, can't you? If you get your knees done, they'd be like, fuck. No, no, no. Stay off. <laughs> no, no I think job involves typing them and having like, hey, what, no, what, what job can you do without your hands? My job in the school. No jobs. <laughs> Fucking just said that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sir. Shush. I got a, an old an old teacher from the uh, who left the school. Oh, I, I, what? This uh, so last last that this time last year when I was working in the school, uh, so someone was winding me up at the time and I said I was in a really bad mood. And this other teacher, I seen use my mug and then I couldn't find it for ages. And then this girl was like, just just leave it, don't worry about it, your mug will show up. And I sent him an email, being like, where's my mugs? Give it back to me right now, on like the school network. I emailed yeah. this guy, like, where's my mug? You like, stop taking it. And then the guy came up and went, mate, you can't be sending me emails like that on the school network. Yeah. And I remember feeling like, wow, it was such an overreaction. And then he followed me, being like, hey, Kieran, are you still working in the school? The other day, and I and, like, liked my comedy video, and I thought he was like, this boy's going to have me cancelled here. Like, he's gonna Did he like, have your mug? Uh, what happened was <laughs> it was a Starbucks mug, right? Don't leave us on that yeah. And my, my my auntie, basically who works in the school as well, was like, I'll get it back. So she snuck up to his room when he was out at lunch and took a mug and I, she goes, Come here, I've got you a present and I went down to her office and she, I got your mug back and I went, That's not my mug. Oh Jesus. <laughs> it was his own personal one. This is like an episode of Pape Show. I've never, yeah, I've, I've never got the plot line. I've never got the mug back. You're Mark Corrigan. I know, oh fuck, I just lost the head. Will it smash the mug? No, I want to see when we were playing Five Percent. Yeah, yeah. Chuck, Kieran just whispered to me, going, I feel like Mark Corgan on Peep Show when he plays Five Percent. <laughs> I was having a stinker that day, like, big style, like, yeah. I've been up on it before, I think doing a bit of doing, cardio. I think you're there. doing the best you could. <laughs> I hope you, whenever you sent that email, yeah. you were saying it off, like, uh, work Kieran is dead, regarding the real Kieran. Yeah, oh, I was just such a fucking prick to the guy. And then he would, and then he, like, get, I would kind of see him about the corridor, and he, he left in February, like, but I didn't kind of see him in the corridor. I just put the head down, like, oh, I'm such a dickhead. <laughs> I bet you felt like a right mug. Thank uh, you. Uh, next question. Thank you. By the way, who asked that question? Uh, Jay Red. Was that a threat or like a question? Yeah. I don't know if tonight's going to be good. Can I say something? Um, Chris Rocket. Do your other questions. You've yeah. got a couple, have you? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, 
Just pay them. Uh, basically, Jack, uh, not overall, one of my good personal friends, asked, you're performing with your favourite comedian. We got asked this before. In your favourite venue, okay. what are you doing? So I would say... Favourite comedian, favourite venue? Yeah, Bill Burr in the Sunflower. I think it would be class. Imagine Bill Burr in the Sunflower. Do we have to have, do we have, to have performed in that venue? Uh, if we, yeah. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I was gonna say, like, Lavers. No, 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 fuck you. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna say, like, Bill Burr Red Rocks or something like that, but no, that's just it's completely ruined my day. Uh, <laughs> I'd go, um, Cam Bridges, and then, see, to be honest, just because it's topical, one of them banger ones. That banger courthouse was nice, yeah. or maybe the Imperial Bar, which I think was the second one, it was lovely. Fuck yeah. yeah. Bill Burr McCurry's Cafe. Bill Burr McCurry's Cafe would be yeah. fucking criminal. Yeah. The roof would be. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. I forgot to say as well, and that's in the second gig in Banger Imperial, some guy came up to me, right? And this is slightly embarrassing, like, uh, but fuck it. When I done Shane Todd's Tea with Me, yeah. I went out, remember I went out to the Manchester gig that night? Yeah. yeah. With the cover bands and all, and my mate was there with some of his uni mates, and they were talking about oh, Shane Todd's podcast, and I done the real crew hang, and I'm like, no, <sighs> no. Talking about Shane Todd's, right? Yeah, like, I was on it. I was on that today. <laughs> Completed it, oh. fucking completed it. Yeah, uh, he completed the Triarch 8 podcast. I haven't done Colin Gallagher yet. Colin, if you're looking at me. Um, but so I was on that, they're all fuck off and we were, what are you on about? And I, I had the photo to show them, like, I fucking get like, I had a few drinks. And they're like, oh, why are you on it? And I was like, I'm actually a comedian, you know. Oh, <laughs> like that, yeah. But they were like, oh, fuck, that's sweet, right? He was at that gig, mm-hmm. the Imperial Bar, and he came up and he was all by. See, since that night, I fucking... See you everywhere, like? Yeah, see you everywhere. Yeah. And then, like, he went to that gig and he showed up and all. See if someone, like, see if someone says to you now, because like, I think they thought it was bullshit. No, but you know, like, people sort of, like, like, you know, we're known now to be comedians, and I sort of, like, I think that's fair enough to say. But, like, if someone comes up to you and be like, oh, he's a comedian, or, like, someone says you're a comedian, what do you say to them? Uh, What's can your I, response? Can I tell a story of last night, shamelessly plugging myself? Yeah, go yeah, for it. Yeah, fuck it. So one of my mates was, uh he had a bad break a couple of years ago he hit me saying this but uh, fuck it uh, I apologised already uh, and um, basically the fella who this fella came up who he'd had a bit of beef with and was apologising and they were shorting it out yeah. clearing the slate and it was quite, quite a clean beef yeah quite, yes. a, quite, a, quite a heartfelt moment where the fella went you know I got fucked by her you even fucked by her like that's just quite shake excellent. hands and while they were say, saying it I bombed over the fella and went yo I ain't Kieran Franco comedian <laughs> I like, yeah, see you're going to my gig on Sunday <laughs> how, how that business goes <laughs> I'm like my mate like was fuming about it like and I went I'm really sorry about that and I got to the point where I, the, the night was that awkward that I left and then uh, I basically messaged him this morning and just said listen I'm really sorry mate and yeah. he went for what and didn't remember it he'd I, forgotten about I, it he'd forgotten so I shouldn't have said anything so I just so at, at that stage with my anxiety it would have been on me all day so then he went, so I went oh no, never mind forget about it and he goes no what'd you do and I went never just forget about it he goes no just tell me what you done so I told him and he went why the fuck would you do that <laughs> like, why would you shamelessly bug yourself why, did the situation why like didn't you make something else up I, I, I just said to oh, him, I made the ass for a whore when I got the talent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so, 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 so. I said to him, I wound you up in Ulster Sports Club uh, smoking area, and he was like, Why would you apologize for me? He said, like, You wind me up all the time anyway. And I went, Ah, but this time it was slightly worse than usual. And he went, All right, what, 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 what did you actually do? And I went, It's personal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I went, Oh, I just, I just wound you up when you were speaking to someone. And he just kept going, Yeah, but who? Who was I speaking to? And I went, Don't make me say it. <laughs> What was the what was the question he said? So like if someone comes up to you, you've know, mates now and they yeah. they find this and goes, Oh you know Pete's comedian now, you're yeah. like they go, Oh you're a comedian. What, what would you say to them? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. I I kinda go Do you don't you don't like humor them or try fucking be funny? No? Um no, yeah, if someone goes with you comedian. Oh, no, 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 I'm not saying but like do you like because that what I get is like I go, ah yeah, do it and then they're just like they go like, Oh it's cool and I'm like, ah and that's it. Just sort of pitters out to nothing, do you know what I mean? Mm. Uh or the sense of like, just be like, uh, I like Shane Todd, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. I know, yeah, no, Shane. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I mean. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah I, like, I, I would, if, if they said something they like, I would probably yeah. try and reference, work my way into it. The, the, yeah, the thing like, is, oh, I met him or I've gigged with him. Like, it just tends to be really shit crack when someone brings it up. You're like, mm. all right. If I'm I like, often mention the podcast as well. Our podcast. A few people, a few times, people go, oh, he does comedy, and I've got. The podcast I, I always like, mention, yeah. Take your phone out and subscribe. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we should. Yeah, we had two hundred subscribers. Yes. Shout out everyone. Yes. Fuck. Uh, can't believe it's, it's not enough. We want more. Yeah. Fifty by Christmas. We need to go. If I do get recognised, but I'm always sort of like last night. It happened a bit. Like people were chatting to me in Ulster Sports Club, but I was fucking steaming. Like they're probably like this boy's a melter. Like yeah. <laughs> like anytime I'm out, I, I'm normally black. Like. Do so you know what's quite good about you getting recognised? You frequently change your look. 
Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. go from like mustache Karen to fucking beard Karen mustache to Karen. short hair Karen. Can I say something with yeah. your anxiety and take this on board? Yeah. You were freaking out about saying that, that fella. Yeah. yeah. That fella didn't remember you doing that. I know, yeah. So see the amount of things you're worrying about? Like, yeah. I was steaming. Yeah. So was everyone else. Yeah, yeah, remember yeah. the uh, the Instagram thing? That was the worst of it. Where I lost 100 followers because Instagram glitched. I, I, <laughs> <believe it. laughs> I like I can't believe it was all, I lost 100 Instagram followers or check out said something on a podcast and I was all, what do you want? What do you think you are? Yeah. yeah. It was just after I done Justin's podcast, User Hacking. So right. he's got me cancelled. <laughs> In fairness, I do remember listening to Shane's podcast all week and um, he said something, he did say something bad about you, but maybe that's where it was from. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 I can't remember but the exact answer. So you need to go rewatch uh, every single one to find it. <laughs> you, know, you know how bad this is, right? <laughs> <laughs> 0. 0.5 speed. Yeah. Yeah. He, just, he says it really slowly. Kieran Franco, <laughs> yeah. guy's a prick. He says it actually like in reverse. You have to listen to that. He does to find it. Yeah. Kieran Franco, <laughs> the next Schmitty. <laughs> Sean's got extra work to do. Fuck, I'd keep it in. Yeah, it's got a crack. Shout out that guy. What's he gonna do? Drive to your house? <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. It was oh, really okay. Oh, he was yeah. fucking yeah. kicked. Fuck. Um, Jesus have, you, have you any more questions? Right, well, yeah, I only have two this week. Two. Right, we'll cover um, Mike Carlisle's. Now, this is one that's got a real bit of a debate going. Orrin Quinn, now, I hope you agree with me on this. What does the saying, it's all downhill from here, what does that mean? So, one at a time, you. It's all downhill go, from it's here. It's all downhill from here, what does that mean? Well, like you it's going to be shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One at a time, one at a time. Come on. I don't want these influence on each other. Right, go. It's all downhill from here means, like, this is as good as it's going to get. Right, okay. it's gonna get so it's going, to, it's going to get worse? It's going to get shitter. What are you saying? I agree with him. I it's agree with that as well. There's, There's no really other way that can be interpreted. Well, this is it. Oren says he agreed with oh, us. Oh, it's easy going because it's downhill. He yeah. said he agreed with us, and then he said he heard other people go, it's all downhill from here, mate. It's now going to be easy going. Uh, yeah. So then he now thinks that even though we all agree no, it, that we're wrong, but I agree, I disagree with him. No, no, I Let's think it's the way you say it. Yeah. It's the way you say it. Like, say, like, Say like, you know, fucking we hit like a thousand subscribers and we're like, fuck me, it's all downhill from here. Yeah. Or else you go, actually wait, no wait, no, that's a bad example. I think I've got the, what, what it is, right? Because it's all downhill from here. If you're saying that meaning it's now going to get better. Yeah. That means you're interpreting that the saying is about perceived effort. Therefore going downhill is easier. Yeah. I don't think that's my what head. I think it's, it's nothing to do with like perceived effort. I think it's like you've reached a height. Well, and you're never going to reach that height again. So say you got Christmas number one. Yeah. It's all downhill from here, meaning you're never going to get But that's what Christmas I mean. It's it's easy. The context or is so important to the question. Yeah. Like if you've just done like, say like that limit drive, three hours, and then we'll finally get to the last, like, oh, it's all downhill from here. You know, yeah. it's easy enough getting home. Or depends it's on what you're saying about it. But I don't think it should be using that context. It's if you're okay, you're opening this a gig and stand up and you get the first big laugh. You're like, all right, I'm over the hill here. That's another one as well. I'm over yeah. the hill. I'm like, uh, it's easier. Yeah. Here. For me, I, that's not what I take. I take it as like, I just should let the SS around it. It's all downhill from here. I mean, yeah. I'm never going yeah, yeah, yeah. to. I'm never going to. Yeah. I'm never going to top what I've just achieved. Well, we ask, ask like this: Is a Jaffa cake, <laughs> a cake or a biscuit? Fruit. It's actually a nut. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I fucking fridge to my head. <laughs> what fridge? What fridge? Where are you wearing? Hang on. Can you hear beeping? <laughs> He's got full. He got. Schizophrenia. You know we can't be asking them about Jaffa fridge? No. We can't be asking about Jaffa cakes no more. It does not <laughs> like it. Your brain is shit at so far. Can you hear the fridge making? Was that me not putting the milk back in? Ah, oh, bastard. Fuck it. Milk milk. Over here, it's all down from here. Well, I'm fucking sorry about, about that. Quite a deal. <laughs> yeah. I need to hear my dad and get that fridge fixed. Um, Hannah Nugent, this is, oh, this is a good question. Yeah. Hannah Nugent, if you had to live together for a year, who would crack first? Sean. No. Sean wouldn't blow down. I don't think he would. I think you would implode. Over tidiness or what? See, I'm quite easy to live with. Yeah. And I think paint up in your house, your house is quite well kept, like yeah. Yeah. it's decent. And then Kieran, you like cleanly. I think we'd be alright together, you know what? I think would be yeah. I don't I don't think it would be too bad. I think you wouldn't crack first, I don't think. I do. I think he's too nice to crack up, he wouldn't want to crack see, up. Even if he wanted to crack up he wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. But I have see I have that thing where like the football group chat that like fuck us I'm leaving. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I'm not like bad time, it's like oh, I'm be worse. I don't really like spending long times I like long space and time. I wouldn't yeah. put a pass maybe in the first crack. See we're all here I live with is lovely to live with because we know like maybe Personal on Friday space. night we'll watch a Steve film together or something. But like spoon each other. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. We will normally fucking listen to the noises of the fridge. <laughs> there is there is the night where you sleepwalked into my room and climbed into bed beside me. And I'm, what the fuck are you doing, boy? Get out! <laughs> no, I don't. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> switcheroo. Yeah. Oh, I'm just sleepwalking here. <laughs> Fuck. You should, you should have slept walking in his bed. Oh, there was one night. So Rob, Rob gets you. Uh, he'll probably hate me for saying this, but anyway. We're running a lot of friendships on this podcast. You really are. You're uh, fucking going for it today. Uh, Rob, Rob would get like bad sort of night terrors. I remember when we were in uni <laughs> in final year. Uh, we were out and he had like an espresso martini and then went to bed. So kind of, you're having an awful sleep anyway when yeah. you drink. And then in the middle of the night, he, he heard, fuck. Fuck, there's someone in the fucking house. Yeah. And he jumped up like panicking, grabbed the hammer and kicked open my door. I was like, Yeah, there's someone in the fucking house. And I, and I was like, I pulled like the butcher knife out of the fucking uh, drawer and I went, Right, let's do this. Like, proper hyped up. And then. Uh, How rough is the place you were sleeping? You just had like fucking oh, webs in the your bed. Like, and then, like. Sounds you know, like a classroom, mate. Yeah, and then we were like, We were standing there, like. Fuck, fuck off. I was like, Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. And then Rob revealed him. He was, Fuck, I was having a really bad night there. It was nothing. Like, that's fucking mental. Like. Mad. I remember my going to the one time, I thought I heard someone breaking downstairs. I literally <coughs> lay in my bed and was like, I can get up right now, confront this cunt, yeah. and save the house, or none of the stuff downstairs is mine. I just stay in my room. <laughs> yeah. So I was just stay in my bed and move. We got broke into it when I was in the house in the Holy Lands. What, ha- what happened? But I didn't know he was in the house. And see, when I found out he was in the house when I was there, but it's a. Freak shit? Yeah, it's weird. Like, Scary life. Because I came in, I left, I. I yeah, like I was doing work experience in like my dad's mate's place for like two weeks. And it was like my first real actual job. So I left early. Mm-hmm. We were out for a night out and I came home, went in, made something to eat, put something in the oven, yeah, went up to my room, and then by the time I came downstairs, the back door was lying open, I was like, oh, that's weird. And then I like made my food and went to bed. And then the Emmons came back and when I was in bed there they started to notice things went missing. Cause they got home and they're like, someone put the music on there, why would I listen to music? Where's the speaker? Fuck. Fuck me. I just put it on the Xbox. Wait, where's the Xbox? Where's my car keys? And they just slowly Seriously? started to notice things. Shit. So then they called me downstairs and they're like, fuck, they're all doing anything weird. And I was all, when I came downstairs, the back door was open, but I just sort of thought, because I'd already been in the house, I was like, I'm a little drunk. I was like, yeah. did I open it? Like, do you know what I mean? Did I put something in the bin outside? And then I was like, fuck. That happened in like the 30 minutes or 20 minutes I was upstairs. That's a They were like. in this room. In this house. Where was it then? Oh, I do know what the best thing was. The cops came down, right? Holy Land's house, proper shithole. Started dusting for fingerprints. I was like, guys, forget about it. You yeah, make a yeah, yeah. often, do we get cleaning? Bays, you're going to find other bodily fluids <laughs> in that door frame. Like. That's fucking mad, like. Turns out he had a wank downstairs before leaving. <laughs> Turns out he had a What do you hear this as well? <laughs> so nuts, right? So they stole, you, you, you met Ali Man, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I don't think you no, met Ali Man. Um, they stole his car keys, right? And oh fuck, this is so nuts, right? Ali man had parked. You to told the story before. Had it on the yeah, park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah, yeah. he moved his car and wasn't but outside the and, house. Yeah, yeah. And he was going and he well, at the priest while he was like, Oh but should I move my car close to the house? Jeez, I I was like, oh, no, I'll not like. Fuck. fuck did he get a clue on the vent? He went round his car, it was unlocked because they had just been clicking the paper. <laughs> but but they, they, didn't never it. It. they never That's found it, they never found it. That's like Fuck. I remember like in uni, we the, the second year house, which was even rougher, like it looked like Shre- Shrek's toilet. Uh, like there were these kids out the front. Zinger. And, uh, <laughs> it was outside. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, and generally, if you knew the house, looked like, fuck that shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can that. But there were these kids like, trying to get in our back garden. And I'm like, hey, move now. And then one of them just literally like went, in, went into his jacket pocket and pulled a knife out. And I went, right, fuck it. Just shut the door. <laughs> no, what are You were like, well, what, cheese board? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Happy days. <laughs> um, I think it's the final question here <laughs> from none other to Al Jamar. When was the last time you were completely scundered? So I think this is pretty much tailored to you, Karen. Work away. Last night. Uh, <laughs> oh, <God>. Fuck it. <coughs> loads of times. Jesus. Oh, I thought of one. Sorry, continue. I thought of one, but now I forgot it. Uh, last time I was completely scundered. I just remember. Maybe uh, last night being in revolution to Cuba. Yeah. I just kind of looked around the place and was like, fuck, I'm scundered to be here. I sent some of my bank details um, to pay me for a gig mm-hmm. and then forgot that I'd sent them the bank details. And then the next day I sent them a bank details and they were like, I know, mate, you already sent them. And I was like, that's not scundered. I made it look like fuck. I was like, put really pressure mm-hmm. on the guy oh, to fuck. pay me. Like, I'm just sort mm-hmm. of personal, I'll tell you he's off podcasts. You don't want to, yeah, be like, uh, uh, can I guess who it was? What? I don't want to guess who it was, but was it something fairly recently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, shit, uh, give me my money, punk. Yeah, so said, Shane Todd's getting a cup. <laughs> oh, fuck. I feel like a Yeah, well, might have, might have fairly recently. I'd fucking, I wasn't going to talk about it on Paul, but the Bob Morrill gig, I was pretty scundered. Like, we're fucking, 
we've we've got that same. we're talking about way too much stuff on this yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, but it's good it's good though. crack yeah, it is good we're going to loosen up more we're loosen up the, uh, the Balmoral gig so you should, you should remember we infamously plugged that about two weeks ago <laughs> yeah don't go to it but really no sales since but uh, basically like I was helping organize the night I'm not going into all the details but by the time I got on stage they fucked you it was, it was really really rowdy I ain't said nothing it was really rowdy by the time I got on it's well organized gig it was sitting perfect right yeah, yeah, like, yeah. couldn't yeah. fault it, it. it was to, massive it, as well it was ready for a home run like it was just full of fucking headers yeah. and you got heckled at the start by oh, White what did like, you talk about that you got yeah. heckled by a boy in the front row looking like Walter White and do you know how I knew he was a bad act like the doors opened at 7 and he was like queuing to get in at 7 o'clock he was just walking up and down. straight up sat in the front row right in front of the stage he was blitzed he started calling me he was all I messed up I shouted out a couple of times and I put him down one of the days he was all come on tap them I was like, I'm not even talking about football. Yeah. And I was all, mate, I hope you get relegated. And then I do another wee bit, and I was all, blah, 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 blah. I know. <laughs> At the time, I was all, <laughs> uh, The roof came up. <laughs> um, I was all, all fine. I was wee bit, uh, 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 I have to deal with this cunt. Yeah. I was all, yeah. Put him down twice, and then he got twisty. Yeah. And I went into material about being from Lurgan. <laughs> just, by the way, brilliant hackle, because no one else could hear it. He just went, you fucking Lurgan prick. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking lurking wanker you can, you can see like, it proper on settled on stage you were kind of like, yeah. like are you alright yeah. like that was the first time I thought now you, you've never been aggressive with an audience member but I was you that, looked you I, looked I, yeah, you're properly on settled yeah, yeah, you looked grumpy I like fucking yeah and even after I, I thought you you ditched it one stage where you went out after and I went yeah I thought you were gone yeah. I was like is he fucking gone I was like no, I wanted to get a Guinness the yeah. fucking barman give it to someone else <laughs> what happened fair enough but uh, yeah, so the night continued on then, you went on and then Adam went on and it was sort of alright, because that boy left straight after you yeah. <laughs> done this, he walked out. Pretty much because I told the bar staff, do not let that contact Get that out. Get yeah. out, but he tipped on himself then, and then second half went on, David MC and like was physically in the crowd, riding them up, and yeah. like, they did no reason to be more in that than they already were. Like a fucking southern preacher. I was living, I was coming on, but, I was, it was literally like coming into like the fucking Coliseum, like with riding this up, and like yeah. it was mental, they just wanted blood, like they were, they were out to kill. <laughs> I got off and tried to do material. I think I did about a minute of material, but was actually on stage for about five. Yeah, Doing, like, trying Fuck to get me. the bit out. I just wasn't getting anymore. This one woman in the front just melt her. One woman, Lindsay, shout out Lindsay, you fucking tramp, right? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sean Haggerty would say it way worse about her. She, she was went, awful. She was she just was like, the worst just, yeah. ever. So she was going to me, she was like, she, you're on my news for you, hey, you mean? I just like, that is. And that's my thing. She was so good looking that no one had ever told her to fuck up before in her yeah, life. And then when was, it happened, she was that shocked bad. She, she was that take shocked that yeah. like, Someone's actually telling me to yeah. shut up. I mean, I was just like, she was good looking. She, she was, was, yeah. <laughs> but you're like, uh, I was just like, I was like, yeah, I'm on YouTube, but I'm live before you now, and I can hear you. So shut up. Right? Yeah. And then trying to continue on, and she would not stop. But and then this other woman, I tried to do a bit about talking about Rangers, and this woman there was like, <laughs> jab of the hut, three rows deep, it was just like, yeah. I was just like, right, okay, and then she go, yeah. I was just like. Fuck this, I ain't getting nowhere. And then yeah. I can't remember, I think I did try to go on, and then in my head, I had no promoter head, we did on too. I was like, I'm just gonna make a statement and walk off here. Just be like, yeah. I'm not putting up with this shit. Like, this, yeah. is not, this is not good enough. Like, so then it was right, that's me, I'm, I'm way off. And it wasn't even as if they were like, yeah, we got him off. They were just like, what happened there? What the fuck just happened? Because I seen David have to be sprinting up at the back. Yeah, then, yeah. Like, David so, was about 50 yards at the back of the river yeah. and he took off. I was like, take a mic. At the end of the night, though, everyone was brilliant, that guy's brilliant. Yeah. Class, yeah. Oh, and then, crash, yeah. yeah. Tommy McCarthy came on and David sort of warned him, was like, boys, you just need to, like, you know, wind it in a wee bit, like, you know. And in fairness, the boy that was with the woman that was shouting, you know, came up to me, sure, I was like, I'm so ass, so embarrassed. And, like, like I'm fucking crowed out by her and I was like, mate, okay, but yeah, right. I was yeah. in the mood yeah. for him and then Tommy McCarthy went on. Radio silence. They all were like listening to every word he said. I was yeah. gonna kill someone. And then Sean went on. Sean looked like he was gonna walk off too. He got the same abuse I sort of got. Yeah. And he just he was like, I'm getting paid. Boom, thirty minutes. I'm getting paid. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Chaos. Apart from that, great night. Sum it up. There were fully grown men drinking pints of double KD blue. Yeah. That's the sort of. I genuinely thought that it was one of the most posh hotels ever. And then when my mum when my mum went Balmoral, fuck. And then uh, it's not a bad hotel. Oh, it's, it's a nice, nice hotel. Nice spot nice below the Francos. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> my mum's like, fuck, Karen, what are you doing? Uh, gigging there. And I went, Jesus Christ, mum. Louise, like fucking, yeah. mind your neck. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking sick. Louise is used to the hill. Start talking to him again, let him gig where he wants. Four balls for a tenner, Louise. You'll have a good time. Fuck, yeah. And hopefully he'll be, back in, he'll be back in the family inner circle by Christmas. Yeah, mate. Come to ours. Come I know, to they're definitely nice. There's always a seat for you. Welcome <laughs> I love the there, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, right, guys, you want to promote a few shits? Yes, uh, one of the podcast's good friends, he was on the show 
the four weeks ago, Luke McGavin is doing two shows in Bennigan's and Derry and Oma in the green room. So if you get the chance and you're in either of those towns or you're just maybe fancying a wee day out, go to those because Luke is a terrific comedian so yeah. definitely get great on great rooms as well yeah, one of the best guys in the we'll scene yeah. Luke's been great for like what 10 years he's absolutely hilarious like you need to go see him live definitely he's for been very good to us so repay the favour and be very good to him please. yes one of the the, the the unsung hero of the scene I would say yes. so uh, got uh, Bellevue tonight Bellevue tonight then Student Union on Thursday three oh, pound in fucking 250 drinks you can't get asked for better than that. Myself headlining, you can't ask for better than that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Jack McGee, MC, and, and lovely lineup of eight other people. Because, you know, as <laughs> Kieran Frank likes the book, a lot of people. Uh, he likes to give you value. Uh, yeah, yeah, value. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't like me, you've got other people. You've got other people. Uh, and yes, apart from that, there, I think then Johnny Bow on the Friday night. Get down to that. Ponder Taker, gonna be class. Johnny performing like The Undertaker. What more could you ask for? What more could you ask for? I've got a busy one this week. I'm in Dublin on Monday and then Tuesday and Wednesday I'm off. Thursday I'm in Derry from McGee University. Uh, Friday I'm in Fermanagh at Pat's Bar. Saturday I'm in the Moy and then on Sunday I'm in Dundonald. So beautiful. Fucking, you have no excuse to Ruby, Ruby, come see me. Get on the rubies on as well. Yeah, get on the rubies on Sunday, get that sold out because I'm MC and Pete Taylor and Kieran's going to be there with the pom poms as I said. Be good crack, and what am I doing this week? I have Louth Laughs, the Tipsy Cow, whatever it's called, that place. Yeah, so if you're in Louth, keep your eyes peeled for that. That's happening on the Friday night as well, so that should be a lot of fun as well. And there should be good paint strength down there. So now you're done talking. I'm just noticing I have something in my calendar here for Tuesday saying Granny Gig. I have no idea what the fuck that you're is. You're another Granny I don't know if I'm doing stuff. I don't know what that means. Fuck. I'm fully going to. Granny, granny Gig? Yeah. I was really hoping you guys would know what the fuck that meant. Is that us then? I think that's us. That's I don't know us. what that means. That's a point. But uh, guys, before we go, just one more shout out. Thanks to Train by Tony for sponsoring the podcast. Yes. Go and check that out. He's helping us to keep the lights on. You know, we're running. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're running with boys. We can't afford to do the podcast no more. And guys, we won't promote or do advertisements or anything we don't believe in. Any sort of shit. It's yeah, a fucking exactly. good quality. We have been offered the usual podcast sponsors you see and we just go... No, I don't believe in Tony. Check, yes. check his Instagram, check the numbers. The guys are yeah. real deal. Yeah, so yes, thanks guys. See, see you.